Um, okay, I will show you how we can create data using um, ORM. But first, let me show you uh, a fabric that I'll be using. It's called Faker. So I'll just generate random data using this one, this library. I will put a link in the description for it. And to install it, just npm install faker. And after you do this, npm install faker. Sorry, before that, add types, then faker, and dash d. This is a div dependency to include the types. So we can import it uh, in a proper way in TypeScript. And this is the div dependencies so you have the types and this is the dependencies for development oh sorry this is the normal dependencies anyway so i will start by creating a folder called crud and inside of that i will have my index to typescript for exporting and i will have a file called uh, for now maybe i'll change it as for now it's called create data .typescript. Okay. Now I will import a couple of things. So first thing is uh, from type ORM, I will import the connection interface. So I will have a function that accepts a connection instance. And from faker, I will import a couple of objects would help us to fake data. So from faker, import name, internet, uh, random, and date. Okay. And we need to import uh, the user entities. So I will create uh, 10 random users. Okay, so const create data. And okay, so this will be an asynchronous function that accepts a connection of type, a variable called con of uh, this type connection which is the same as we have in our app.ts, this one. I keep removing this, this is the type. Okay. So I will loop 10 times using for of. There's a good way to do that. So um, const iterator of, so array from, pass it an object with the length property. Of 10 so this will create an empty array of length 10 and I don't care about the variable for each iteration or the element so I'll put underscore and now for each um, iteration so 10 times create a user object so new user entity and what you can do so user dot uh, last name equal something and you can just keep doing it like this uh, but I will modify the constructor function inside the user entity to make it uh, I think make I think this will make it more sense just I had doing this so last name equals something I had doing this so this just pass everything to the constructor and it will assign it inside the class and one second I'm I'm cheating I have the code in another screen I don't want to mess anything up but I can just create the constructor for now. Uh, so it accepts a first name of type string. And since we are using uh, the extend keyword, so I need to, to call super, the, the parent constructor. And okay, now it accepts also last name, accepts an name, is active. Um, type boolean uh, email string I'm just I'm just um, writing these and now a birth date of type date and the pass uh, word of type string okay now I just need to assign the values to these uh, uh, arguments passed here like this so first name equal first name and so on so now uh, inside our create function, create data function, we can just pass values here. And there is, uh, sorry, one second. So I will use here uh, fakers, the faker functions. So first one is the first name. If you hover over this, so first name is the first argument. 
So cost first name would be equal to name from faker dot first name. I'll just keep doing this for everything. So last name equal name dot last name as a function. Now cost is uh, active will be equal to random dot uh, array element. So this will get uh, each so this will randomly get each uh, element from the array. So I have two fours. So each time it will be a random value. Now const email will be equal to internet dot email and const uh, password will be equal to I think yeah internet dot password and const uh, birth date will be equal to date dot past so a date in the past. Okay. Pass the first name, last name uh, is active email birth date password. Okay, so after we created the user, which by the way will be of type partial user entity, since it does not hold all the values or the properties, so this does not have the ID yet, or the created at and the updated at, does not have this uh, or these, because uh, it's not yet created in the database, these are generated, and we can just use uh, the manager the connection manager or i believe it's called the entity manager yeah the entity manager from the connection this is why i passed it here uh, so connection dot manager dot save and just pass the user and i will await that um at the end i will just export an object that has the create da date function which should be called data like this um, I think it's a good a good practice to wrap this in our tie catch but uh, let's just continue now inside the index of TS that I created here you can just um, export from the CRUD the create data to the CRUD the create data function and inside our app.ts I'll just import from CRUD the create that data function and I will await the create data function and pass the connection to it uh, and that should be it after running this this we should have 10 users so npm run ts node app ts no errors now let's create let's run the query to get everything okay it's hard to see but so we have 10 users yes yeah, you can see the IDs these are on to come on and everything is fine I believe yes this is also randomized 0 or 1 and SQL light which means true or false um, so this is basically uh, how you can save some data using the save uh, function inside the manager, the connection manager. And if you look into the docs, one second, um, this will, I will show you an example in the next video, but this will basically save also the relation between them. So if you look at this, so we have the array of photos, which is basically the same relation we have, the one to many. The user have many photos and each photo belongs to one user. So when you save the user and it has the photos property, it will also create the photos, which is nice. Um, yeah, but you need, to, of course, you need just to save these before. But yeah. Okay.